today we are going to be working on the pavilion area. We have some plants um, here right now. There will be more plants coming in a day or two, uh, but we're going to be getting started. We have a slew of volunteers here at the Arboretum, which is really cool. Um, Dana said it was a really good turnout today. Uh, we got plants, we got shovels, we have wheelbarrows, we have mulch, we have soil, we have pots. And so we're going to transform the pavilion um, with a little more color, uh, some blooming plants, some plants with colorful foliage. Um, so you'll be able to see a little bit of that transformation today. All right, so we're here at the pavilion at the Jacksonville Arboretum this morning, and we have just laid out uh, the first set of plants here for this area. So in the front row, we're gonna be using the Blue My Mind uh, with a layer of sedum. Behind it, we have the Angelina variety. Some foxtail right here behind the sedum. We're gonna have a nice specimen of the Sunshine Ligustrum on either side, and then behind them, the Apostles Iris. And those are gonna be gorgeous here this coming spring with the purple flowers uh, and that yellow Sunshine Ligustrum in front of them. We also have in the backdrop, some canna, Tropicana. It's gonna be going in right behind the wall over here by the lake. We're gonna pull out some of the grasses there and then put in some of the cannas just so they get a pop of color. They're starting to fade here as we go into the fall, but they will be vibrant in the spring again uh, with the colorful leaves and some really dark, bright orange flowers coming off of those. On either, either side here, we have a Miami Supreme Gardenia, which will have some amazing white fragrant flowers uh, this coming year. And then we also have some dwarf vivid red azalea. So the red and white here. Uh, the nice thing about the dwarf azaleas is that they bloom not only in the spring, like all azaleas, but they have little pops of color in the summer and then we'll have another fall flush. So it'll really bring a lot of color here um, at the pavilion throughout the year. The oh, dwarf, white? yeah. Okay. And then these are the dwarf uh, azaleas. Now some of this lugginess can be cut back. And do they, they bloom more than once? Yes, that's the beauty of, like of the dwarfs. Yeah. Spring, summer, and fall. Oh, wow. So you get like most of the year. This is going to be in the Olympics, uh, next summer Olympics. This right here, pot rolling. Yeah, I'm just training right now. Still working on my form though. You know, the basics. So everything is coming together here. Uh, we had to make a, a few pivots here uh, at the end, which is pretty common on landscape projects. But uh, actually the, uh, the urns with the Sunshine Ligustrum in them actually turned out to be a really nice surprise. We were going to put them in the ground and then we re rethought a few things. Uh, we'll get a little elevation on those sunshines, which will be really nice. And then we're also elevating the um, uh, gardenias over there as well, the Miami Supreme. So it's going to look fantastic from a distance, get them a little height here initially. Uh, the crew here is hard at work. Uh, we're getting uh, the ground covers in. We got some of the uh, old iris pulled out and cleaned up and now we're uh, giving some shape to the beds, but everything's coming together really well. So uh, I would say this will be done probably in a few hours. I don't know when this video is gonna post, but by the weekend, this will be fully landscaped and we're gonna put a fresh uh, bed of mulch around here to uh, put the icing on the cake, so to speak. This is Dana Duty. Uh, she is the... Executive Director of the Jacksonville Arboretum and Botanical Garden. Yes, I didn't know the executive, <laughs> the executive part of it, but it is executive yes. for sure. And I wanted her to share a little bit about some of the upcoming events and things that are going on here with the Arboretum. Well, first of all, Matt, thank you so much for this. This is sure. such an incredible gift to us. Um, it's going to be wonderful for parties and weddings and all the things that people can imagine this space to be used for. Not to mention just a really beautiful view of our lake, which is stunning. And then also we have an event coming up called Tales and Trails. It is sponsored by Tito's Handmade Vodka. And we're going to have signature cocktails. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. I might need to borrow a dog. They're going to be positively <laughs> fantastic. Uh, okay. Um, but you you don't have to have a dog. Oh, you don't? It, okay. Yeah, it's going to be for everyone. Okay. And it, it will have some vendors out here 
there is there are a few dog centric vendors like we'll have a ice cream truck here for dogs nice. it's called pup cycle okay so that's really fun purina will be here uh, talking about health for the dogs but we'll also have other vendors here selling jewelry and some other really fun things happening. 7th Street Band is coming. Oh, nice. Music. That's gonna, yes. Very cool. Oh, my gosh. And they are vibrant and fantastic. Nice. And gonna, that's real, they're really good. So 7th Street Band and also we'll have a couple food trucks like About Time Creamery, which is also yes. human ice cream, yes, not yes. dog ice cream. Yes, I've had it. It's actually really, really, really <laughs> good. Very good. Yeah. And then we also have um, a food truck called the Chubby Burrito. Oh, fun. So, okay. yeah. And what's the so, date on that again? October 16th from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. 1 to 5. Very cool. Yes. All right. And then I have to tell you also, because this is new, first year ever, we're doing a light show oh, wow. on the Arboretum. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to light up the Lake Loop, which nice. is going to be so great. Oh, that's fun. Yes. And if you go to dazzlingjacks.com, that's where you can purchase tickets, but also learn more about the event. It's really going to be great. And that's going from November 19th to January 9th. Oh, nice. So it's not just one night. You can come over a period of time. Yeah, you can come. Yeah, yeah. and it's it's family fun. Uh, lots of fun things for children, too, because there's like this whole path. You step on them and they, they play music. Oh, wow. And then there's going to be a snow machine. I'm not going to give away anything oh, yeah, else, but yeah. it's going to be there's gonna be some. There's going to be some surprises. <laughs> yeah, some surprises. Very sure. cool. We, um, we've raised a little bit of money for the Arboretum, so I'm going to be giving um, Dana a token here. What? Uh, so we've been selling the butterfly picks at Earthworks. So anyone watching this, if you want to support the Jacksonville Arboretum, oh my God. Um, you can buy one of the butterfly picks. I think they're like $2, and the proceeds go to the Arboretum. So there you go. Smash. You're welcome. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for everybody that bought a butterfly pick. Yeah, so <laughs> there are beautiful too. Yeah, more butterfly picks <laughs> to come. We still have some uh, in stock and we'll be selling more. It's just a nice little uh, representation of nature. The little butterfly pick, great for kids. You can stick them in your plants. If you have big like, house plants, uh, they make a really nice accent for your pots. So come check them out. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. This means a lot. Cool. Thank yeah. you.